get some speed, motherfuckers! Right, so here we are talking about building picking speed once more. And this is such a recurring thing because really, it takes a while sometimes to give yourself that kick up the ass that you really need to go beyond and break that barrier. Now the barrier is a physical one, but it's also a mental one. Because in order to break the physical speed barrier, you need to break the mental one first. It really is all about kicking things in the nuts, being aggressive, really going after what you want, and just telling that sort of part of yourself which is being a bit of a mincer, just to shut the hell up, because you're gonna get the job done. So basically you're a SWAT team, kicking down the doors, going in, doing a raid, and getting the results. So what does that look like? What does that mean? Well, let's zoom in and take a closer look. Now the problem a lot of the time is people really do overfocus on the way their picking technique looks, or they overfocus on trying to get it to feel a certain way, like you know, the traditional up down wrist action, the way that picking is usually taught, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but sometimes that's not the way that your hand or your body is going to move when you need to get the job done. And really, I cannot stress to you guys enough, you have to give yourselves permission just to go after it. Instead of staying at these pedestrian places where you're sort of trying to get a nice, perfect pick action, or you've got some sort of funny little, little pick action like that going on, instead of trying to keep that relaxed and get that up down thing and just waiting and praying to the gods that it's gonna get quicker. Really, you just need to do it quicker now. What's stopping you doing it quicker now? Speed the pickup. See right there, I don't care how my hand looks. I don't give a toss what it's doing. What's important to me is speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. I want those notes to sound faster. So how do I get it to sound faster? Well, I'm not going to say, well, okay, well, I need to do this angle and this, the stars have to be in Aries at that time of year, and I have to do three Hail Marys. Do you know what I mean? The more parts that are involved in you getting a good technique, the more there is to go wrong. You need to have a robust technique that is there whenever you pick up the guitar, it's the same, yeah? The fewer things you need to be in place in order for you to do your job, the better it's gonna be, the more reliable it is. So you can pick up your guitar and just access the right away. Instead of having to be like, oh, I need to warm up for 25 minutes and I need to do 50 exercises. And it's like, no, man. Your technique needs to be really normal, mundane. And don't worry about the way it looks. See, I'm not there going, you know, rolling my wrist around or trying to do some sort of perfect thumb finger movement like that. I don't care how it looks. It doesn't need to be graceful, guys. This isn't ballet. This is music. And the thing is, picking is a really aggressive technique. It's not a smooth, flowing kind of effect. You know, it doesn't have to have that smooth, flowing water effect like legato. Uh, you know, for aggressive alternate picking, it, you know, it has to have some balls behind it. In, 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 my favorite alternate pickers are the guys that sound aggressive with it. So, you know, Chris Impelitary, Jason Becker, they have this really nice... <laughs> ...aggressive staccato attack to it. it. Really sounds like the pick is digging into the strings, chopping out the notes, and the way to get that is just be aggressive. Give yourself permission. So think about how you can speed the pick up. I'm always saying, keep the pick on the string. Imagine that when you pick through, your job is just to let the pick go through the string and then sit on the opposite end of the string. And then it comes back through, sits on the opposite end of the string. And your job is just to do that quicker. Yeah, and as you do it quicker, you'll find that you have to use the muscles of your forearm to keep your pick from wandering away. Yeah, because you don't want to make the movements big like that, because the bigger they are, the slower you're going to get. You need to keep them small. And the process of you keeping them small is going to speed your hand up. And at no point during that process am I giving a shit about what my hand looks like. All right, I'm not thinking about the angle, 
the angle sorts itself out because I'm wanting the smoothest, clearest attack of the pick. I want it to sound good. And picking it at this place on the guitar gives me the best tone for me that I like to hear. I like to hear the notes uh, to be kind of well-rounded, uh, to sound clear. I don't like to pick back there towards the bridge because I don't like the sound. To me, it's thin. Now, some people do pick back towards the bridge because they like it. Some people pick further towards the neck because they like that. To me, I don't like it. So you need to take those things into account as well. Make it sound good. What sounds good to you? And then when you find a position which sounds good, focus on how you can get the pick speeding up. So that also sounds good. Because having an efficient picking technique is all well and good, but if you don't like the way it sounds, you know, it's, you're kind of losing out that way. So, for example, picking close to the bridge with a very vertical hand position, I see a lot of people picking like that, Now it's pretty good. But to me, I don't get as much tone there, so I like to pick here. Yeah, so you really need to work with what your body wants to do, but also the sounds you want to hear. There's a lot going on with picking, all right? It's not just about getting the most efficient position to be able to do things quickly. It's also about getting the sound you want. And when everything comes together, you're going to play better because when you like the sounds you're hearing, you play better anyway because you dig in more and you really enjoy what you're hearing. So guys, really kick it in the balls, you know, give yourself a kick up the ass and then kick this in the balls. You really need to just go for it. You know, give yourself permission. Don't be afraid of making a mistake or hitting the wrong string or anything like that. This is not a gentle technique, yeah? It's not... You know, if you put in gentle, gentle effort, you're gonna get gentle results. If you put in polite effort, you're gonna get polite results, yeah? You need to put in aggressive effort and then get aggressive results. It's an aggressive technique, whether you like it or not. to aggressively hunt down what you want. So hunt down the string crosses. Be aggressive about the string that you want to hit. So when it comes to a, a string crossing run, you know, whatever the note that you're climbing to is, if you can do something well on one string, and then you can do it well on two strings, And then keep adding a string until you get better. I've got a whole video about how to do this, by the way. I'll put it in the uh, description. Um, but for like a string crossing run, don't think about every pick stroke. You know, think about the note you're getting to at the top. When you get better at this, you can just start thinking about the note you're starting on and the note you're getting to. And then do stuff like that. But there's no way to do that gently. You have to really be aggressive. I'm being aggressive with it. I'm really digging in. Uh, you know, not, you know, being all gentle and graceful about it. It's really dig in, be aggressive. You know, don't worry about what it looks like. You know, don't listen to people that say, well, it should look this way. Your hands should be relaxed. And, and, and don't listen to people who say, well, you know, this famous guitar player does it that way or this. Who cares? You know, there's loads of examples out there of people doing it in different ways and getting results. And that's what everything is about. At the end of the day, it's results. You want results, right? Doesn't matter how it looks, okay? It doesn't matter if it goes against the rules. You know, you have to be willing to break the rules and go against the rules in order to get the results because that's what the greats did. That's where the best guitar playing comes from, guys. You know, it's, come on, this is rock music. This is rock and roll. It's always been about going against the grain, always. You know, since when did we start putting so many rules in place and saying you can't do this and can't do that? That's against the whole spirit of rock and roll. You know, this is a musical instrument. You know, it's not a classical uh, instrument. There isn't classical schools of how to do this. This is, you know, all about spirit and balls and heart and willpower and all that sort of cool stuff, you know? So really, 
this is all a mental game. If you can get past your mental barriers, stop being polite, stop being pedestrian. Stop finding excuses why you can't do it. You know, yeah, maybe you've tried for years. Maybe you've been doing it the wrong way. You know, maybe you've been playing bad exercises or maybe you've been playing exercises in a way where you're not really quite putting in what you need to be putting in. Maybe you haven't allowed yourself to go beyond where you need to go beyond. Or maybe you have been pushing yourself, maybe with the picking hand, but you've been trying to do it together at the same time is doing something with the left hand, but maybe your left hand is really not up to speed. Maybe your left hand is really uh, unreliable and so that you've never noticed that your fretting hand is unreliable. So no wonder you stay stuck where you are, right? So sometimes you need to break these things apart and realize that you need to access the raw power with the right hand, with the picking hand, yeah? But if this needs work, you've got to work on that too, all right? So don't just play bad stuff. Like, don't just go really fast with the picking hand and then have these fingers not lining up. Because I see a lot of this stuff where people are doing stuff like this. Well, there's loads of pick strokes per fingered note. You know, it's not right. You know, you, one pick stroke per finger. Not stuff like this unless you're deliberately playing a pattern which has that as part of it. If you're playing something which has multiple pick strokes per note, that's fine. But if you're not, then you need to know that you're doing that because that is going to screw up your synchronization forever. You need to sort the fretting hand out as well. But anyway, this isn't about the fretting hand, this is about the picking hand. Really, step one guys, just go for it. Kick it in the nuts, man. You know, pretend that the pick is, you know, held you up at gunpoint and demanded money and you've got to get your revenge. You know, you've got to go for it. You're going to go back, kick it in the nuts, get your revenge and take what you want, okay? So don't be polite, don't be, a pe don't be pedestrian about this. And don't worry that you're gonna get an injury or in your, in your arm's gonna fall off or any of all that crap, you know? Just stop making excuses, guys, you can do it. Pick faster, imagine I'm holding a gun to your head. You know, I bet you could make it go faster then, right? So just do it. There's no reason on earth why you can't do that. None at all, and I don't care how you hold your pick, it doesn't matter whether you hold it out there like that, whether you've got a bent thumb, whether you've got an uh, outstretched thumb or a bent thumb like that, or whether your fingers are out, or whether you curl into a fist, whether you anchor or whether you float free, doesn't matter. These are all things for you to get distracted with. The bottom line is, if that pick can go through the string, come back the other way, it can speed up. You can get it faster. You just have to damn well do it, okay? There's nothing more than that. Just do it, do it, do it. There's no place to hide. Right? I don't want to hear any excuses. Just make it go faster. So you've heard the truth, guys. Really, it is all about just giving yourself permission and going after what you want and being aggressive. Right? You have to be like a predator hunting its prey. I'm sorry, this is not polite. This is not a polite technique. You know, when you're making physical gains, you need to do it with 100% iron will. You, know, you need to go after it. You need to be willing to break past that boundary if you want that. You know, if you say you want to pick faster, if you say you want to play guitar faster, you want more speed, you want more technique, this is what it takes, all right? But it's the mental shift, which is the hard one, which a lot of people just won't do it. They'll find an excuse not to do it, or say, oh, I've done this for years, and it's like, you haven't. You haven't, clearly you haven't, otherwise you would have made the leap by now. There's something you haven't done. And for a lot of people, this is it. It's giving themselves permission and saying, just bloody do it. Give yourself a kick up the ass, just do it. Don't worry about the outcome. Don't worry about screwing up don't worry about how things look or how it even sounds. Just do it and feel that raw power of getting things faster. You need to feel the raw power of the technique and you'll make it better later, but feel the raw power of it because that's where the magic is. And go and get the free warm up. You can go and grab it right now. It's got a brilliant picking drill in there and a brilliant drill for the fretting hand and it's free. You can go and grab that right now and it's streaming so you don't even need to download anything. And also while you're at it, Grab the free Tower Badass Guitar ebook because that's really going to give you a kick up the ass when it comes to attitude and mindset. Because really, if you can get that stuff to a higher level in terms of the way you mentally approach your guitar playing, you're going to start getting way more results than you ever had. Because it's not about exercises, dudes. This is about how you approach it from up here and then how that translates into the way you approach the guitar playing, guys. The secret, it's all about balls, all right? So, 
balls in hand, go and grab the warm up, go grab the towel and go and put this into action like I've told you, all right? No excuses, guys. See you next time. Go get some speed, motherfuckers.